Rich with Totally Electric Guitars. Uh, I heard a little taste of uh, Bad Moon Rising by Creedence, Creedence Clearwater. Uh, for those of you guys that are uh, familiar with Creedence, you know very, uh, the band is like really, really reminiscent of 60s, 70s, sort of like Southern Americana rock, you know, sort of, I liken them to like sort of the, the era of like Leonard Skinner, uh, you know, that sort of thing. Um, because it's got that southern flair, that sort of like Louisiana bayou sort of, a, sort of a flavor to it. And it's real cool. It's always kind of almost very like uplifting music and it's fun. It's, it, it, it's really good. It's a fun song to jam on because it has this kind of driving and moving rhythm that, that just kind of continues. You know, it's very catchy. Um, and it uses just pretty, pretty much simple chords. Like it's basically kind of like a blues, just not even as long really it's got you know e b a e right and that's that's the main riff right there and really uh when you when you break this whole song down there's not really harmonically all that much stuff that's happening you know there's really only like in the whole song three chords but it's what you do with those three chords uh and it's it's how you can manipulate just a, a few simple chords and create some really great music and that's what I'm here to show you to do uh, today. Uh, Credence was, uh, you know, the band was was really able to to capture that um, essence of simplicity and turn it into something really great. You know, that solo that happens. Um <laughs> That, that solo uh, is very chordal, you know, it's not like, you know, not the kind of solo you might expect, you know. You know, that sort of a sound, right? Um, instead, it's got, uh, it, it uses a lot of the chords that are being played, but in different voicings. So, if you don't know uh, a whole bunch of your voicings, you're going to learn some today. So, let's get started. 